Hey everyone and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, Cause for Concern, Farewell. And we got this automatically when we completed the final bandit camp. So it's right here. Nil, a mysterious outlander, invites Aloy to raid bandit camps with him when their paths cross. Which uh, has been the whole game basically. So we need to go talk to Nil. And is he far enough for a mount? Eh, I guess not. We'll just run there. Hello, Nil. It's so bittersweet. Like a smile for bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. Oh, the bandit clans are gone. I hear another turned back at the Southern Plains, just at a sniff of the legend we carved. That's what all this bloodshed was for, to end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill, unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. Okay. We need to meet him at this mesa. And we happen to have gone there before for a metal flower, so we've already got a campfire right on top of it. Alright, we are back, and it looks like he killed some bandits while... We were on our way. So look at that, free health potion. I could deal with that. Hey, another one, nice. He always knows the best gifts for me. And we also got some medicine that respawned. There's probably more up here on the Mesa. And I keep having issues with my stupid battery. It keeps getting low. Anyways, let's talk to him. No. I did wonder on my way here, well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this, much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? What? Wait, you brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll savor it because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. So I can accept the duel, or I, or I can decline the duel. Um, I don't really see a point in killing the guy. He is a weirdo, but he's useful, and he's not dangerous as far as I know, unless you're a bandit. So I'm gonna decline. I don't see any reason to do it. I'm, uh, flattered that you think of me this way, but I don't want to kill you. Don't be hasty. When it's life against death, hunter against hunter, I know it'll come to you. Is that really what you want, Nil? You know, I don't think you have a death wish. What you have might be worse, but I see there might be a need for you in this world. I don't understand. I won't fight you. That's my decision. You can respect it, or try to shoot me in the back as I go. Then it's over. Your last arrow is the cruelest. Alright, we completed that side quest and left him very sad. Okay, so let's get some more data points. The first one is gonna be back in Nora Land. Actually, almost right on top of the vantage point. So let's go ahead and fast travel to this campfire. Okay, here we are. And where's that vantage? There it is. So, in the big old building. Not sure how I missed it before, but that's been the case with a lot of these. It's like, ah, oh, it was right there. How did I not see it? It's 
So let's see, I believe it's on the left side over here, tucked away in the corner. Yep, there it is. Supplier. Personal log. Finally got a lead on a vat meat supplier out of Tulsa. Seems affordable. Samples scheduled for delivery later tonight. They do everything, beef, chicken, pork, mutton, even alligator jerky, which I didn't even realize was something people want. If the quality is adequate, this enterprise kicks into high gear. Stuff what dad said about real space dining. Legacy industry, my ass. Okay, next one is another that was near some other uh, data points. Uh, right at this corrupted, or previously corrupted zone. Uh, it's about right over there. So, let's go to this campfire. Okay, and then... It's right over here down the hill. In this ruined little uh, building right here. Kind of tucked inside. Log 518.63. Uh, Genna. Hey, how are you? Hark. Ugh. Stuck on 75. This auto navsis keeps taking wrong exits. Seriously? Yep. Was gonna see if you could pick up dinner. No tikka masala? Food printer's acting weird. Installed the tikka module. Spat red protein goop across the kitchen. Took tidy... or tido... or tidio eight minutes to clean up. Maybe order a pizza? Not sure when this crazy thing's gonna get me home. Sigh. Tried to call it Tido again. It's Tidio. So simple. Uh, any medicine I can pick up while I'm here? Mm, don't say any. Alright, and one final data point I want to go grab is... Just north of this campfire, so down the hill. It's kind of hard to miss. There's like a broken building. I think that's actually that actually it on the map so let's go pick it up okay so we want to head this way and probably just drop down I wonder if we can do it safely uh, that's pretty steep I don't know, can I pull this off? Maybe if I jump over to there. That was safe. And then... Slide down? <clears throat> ah, I took a little bit of damage. Not too bad. And there it is, right in front of me. So let's top my health off. And we'll get a scan in. No subject. From Grant Row to Mom. Subject, no subject. Dear Mom, I heard some guys jabbering about a breakthrough on the Atlantic today. Said Southern Jersey, Philly, North Delaware is just gone. New York City nearly surrounded. My CEO won't confirm or deny. And since we stopped using AUGs, I can't check the feeds. But everyone's talking about it, and all I know is, if it's true, Vineland was right in the middle of it. And that means you were in the middle of it. In which case, I'm writing to a goddamn ghost like a goddamn fool. Ah, screw this. Screw Enduring Victory and Zero Dawn and everyone and everything else. Honorable service, my ass. I should have stayed home so you didn't have to die alone. Grant. Alright, so not that many data points left. What is that? S eight? Seven? Seven. So seven more data points to go. And uh, before we wrap up here, I want to go to Meridian and turn in some of my uh, collectible sets. So, over to this campfire. Okay, we are back. And I believe I still need to turn in my final ancient vessel set to this dude. Hmm, yes. I remember you. Did you find the vessels I seek? I did. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. And yep, this is the final one. So right here. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. 
Ah. Now, unfortunately, it's nothing better than normal. It's just gonna be random mods. So, kinda crappy. And 500 shards. Shards is nice, I suppose. Probably can't even pick all these up. Let's see. No, oh, I did. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell. Oh, and this guy right here has uh, a reward for finding all the stranded items. I, believe, I think it was this guy. It was another one. Uh, no, it was this guy. So if we find the stranded figure, then we can get this mysterious box. So I still need to find that. I believe it's uh, in one of the last missions. Let's see. The Banook vendor person's right here. I think I've got something for her. Back from the wilds. Find any Banook relics? You ready? Let's trade then. Let's see. Uh, yes. I've got set two for her. So there we go. Come on back if you find any Banook goods. You there, Outlander? Alright, and same deal, unfortunately. 500 metal shards and modification boxes. And we're out of mod slots. Do you have relics to trade? Uh, I guess we may as well just sell the extras, Welcome right? Back. I'd happily trade for Banook artifacts if you have any. The Banook will be happy to get their treasures back. They're not gonna. I'm just selling you stuff. Selling you mods. All the blues and greens. You get them all. I can't remember, is this mod thing full? I don't think 30 is the max. Maybe I can expand this thing. Good luck out there. Be sure to let me know if you find any Banook relics. I pay well. Let's see. I want a bigger mod box. And I can get one. Sweet. Well, that solves my problems. And geez, it goes up to 70. But I would need another fox skin. So I've got to remember to get another one of those. And I don't think we've ever talked to the metal flower specialty merchant before. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. More about you. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. Metal flowers? These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Trade. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Alright, and I have set three completed. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. I have a matter of grace and beauty. Okay, and same thing as the other ones. But this one gave me a thousand metal shards and two purple mods, so a little bit better actually. And let's just grab all these mods. There we go. And we are all done here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.